yeah, lots of great ideas of things that you can do with things you probably already have after the holidays. Brian, finally, there's a, a justification between the kids being more intrigued by the boxes <laughs> than, than, the than, toys the, inside. than the actual gift, right? Yeah, well, we all find after the holiday season, there's, there's all the wrapping paper that comes off. There's uh, leftover tubes like you'd find inside. Uh, so we look for fun, sciencey things you can do with these before you recycle them. Uh, one of the fun things, just from a decoration point of view, uh, this lovely snowflake you see here is actually all created with the little containers, the little holders you'd use to hold drink cans. That is awesome. What a great use for that. Yeah. Uh, now, you may not drink this many yourself, but if you gather from your friends and neighbors around the neighborhood, uh, and instructions for these things can all be found at the Science World website. We have an area called our resources where you can pick up how to do these different things. Great idea. Uh, we wanted to try some stuff with the wrapping paper here. Okay. Uh, some other things you have on the resources website is something called a tumblewing glider. So we put one of these together, cut out of so, some leftover wrapping paper. It's a little paper. scrap wrapping paper. Yep, this yep. can be stuff that you've wrapped the present in. I find often when you're wrapping a present, you have that little tail end that just doesn't fit. Uh, and if we fold it up, curl up the edges a little bit, we get our guy to tumble. Look at that. The, the kids would have a ton of fun, and it's no money. It's no money. Finally. Finally, we are looking at hair dryers. I have to find new ways to use hair dryers myself. <laughs> <laughs> so. Take a little ping pong ball and our hair dryer. You take one of the big tubes from the inside, and you have to experiment a little bit to make sure it'll fit your ping pong ball. If you bring this over, you get an increase in pressure, and our ball, whoops, oh! <laughs> launches right out of the top. Lots of fun, and incorporating science into our homemade toys, essentially. Lots of great ideas at Science World. For all the details on how you can do these particular crafts and uh, using some items that you already have, you can go to scienceworld.ca slash resources, Riaz. we got lots more as we celebrate winter here at Science World throughout the morning on BT. Yeah, and with Christmas just around the corner, your time to look for gifts, and why not for the science lover in your home? here at the science shop at Science World and this was one of the things we were showing going to break. How is this possible? This is a little uh, stocking stuffer. It's a balancing eagle and what's happening is there's some extra weight out here in the wingtips. So essentially the center of mass is still over the middle there but it doesn't look like it would be possible. No, yeah. Ed is very cool bringing science into our gifts here. Great idea. What else do you have? We have all kinds of cool things here. One of my favorites, the energy stick. We are conducting electricity if you want to grab the little okay. foil there. If I grab here, if we complete the circuit by touching our hands. Uh, wow. You can even do something like you want to beat my nose. Look at this. Or even as an individual. Yeah. That is cool. Well, Excellent. Great Light idea. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, another one of my favorites here, we have these little kits. Uh, these are actually baby pop bottles. Before a two liter pop bottle is blown up, looks like a little test tube. Each one of these contains a different science activity you can try. Uh, one of my personal favorites is the instant snow. So mm, you want to give us a little bloop sure. of water here? Okay, so a little gloop of water. We put that on there. It's a little polymer, so it's not actual snow, but it starts to look like <gasps> snow. It absorbs about 800 times its weight in water, and you get this nice that is snow kind awesome. Of there. That is so cool. Yeah. All right, what else do we have? Uh, other little goodies we've got down here. If you like outdoor science fun, uh, this is a kit for creating the Mentos and Coke explosion. Because you can't outside. see that enough. You can't see that enough. No. And you know what? There's something very visceral about getting to do it yourself. <laughs> uh, and there's elaborate ways you can try and do it by hand, but I find this is the safest and less messy falling on yourself, one of those. And you know, we've already been talking a little bit on the show about Giving Tuesday. First of all, for people that want um, to give back. Science World is actually one of those not-for-profit organizations. We are not-for-profit organizations, yeah. We have a lot of great programs that we support out in the community. And people can volunteer as well. And if they want to actually buy a gift that gives back. Yeah, something for the full family. Uh, this is our Leave Your Mark campaign. These tiles are a permanent part of our outdoor science park. Uh, you can design what you want it to look like. Uh, you can draw a picture from the whole family. They'll print it up on there. Uh, it's on recycled glass and it becomes a permanent part of Science World. Excellent. And finally? Finally, a little bit of an airborne Release. And there we go. So many great gift ideas here at Science World. For more details on all the programs that they have, um, you can check out their website. Lots of great crafts as well, Michelle, on their website as well. Um, we've got more here at Science World throughout the morning. It's not just about activities or experiments. It's actually also about performance. Uh, tell us, Brian, a little bit about some of the performances that are happening here at Science World. We have amazing performances all through the winter break. Uh, this is Diana David, who is premiering a brand new show during winter break. It'll run from December 27th. Uh, through till January the 4th. 
uh, looking at kind of the, the art and science behind the science of light. That's what we've been focusing on throughout the light exhibition. Excellent. Oh, this is fantastic. And you know, people may recognize Diana from Canada's Got Talent, So You Think You Can Dance. And I hate to interrupt you, Diana, but I'm going to have to interrupt you. Tell us a little bit about the concept of your show. <laughs> For sure. Hi, I'm Diana David, and um, I play the character Moo. And uh, she lives in the light of doubt and the shadows of doubt. And uh, she basically meets uh, Rio, the light orb here, and Rio teaches her how to, or in introduces her to light for the first time. I'm trying to even think of how you move that around. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice robotic uh, ball that is connected to an iPhone on the other side of this wow. uh, <laughs> side of this world. <laughs> that is amazing. You know, just a little snippet. Thank you so much, Dan. You'll have to catch her here at Science World and also some great science activities, Brian. Yes, people, uh, if they want to make something a little bit more elaborate, we have a little snowman, but he's actually wired up as well. So if people want to do a little bit of electronics, when he touches there, you can light up his little nose. Excellent. Uh, and speaking of light, we thought we would get into a little bit of laser science here. Got to okay. put on our goggles for safety. Very good. Uh, this is our big super laser. We have a balloon here, and I'm going to give you control with the big button there. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do that? Let me just get this into position. Okay. Now, it's interesting. It's a blue laser. It'll get absorbed by the red balloon there. Give and little... go ahead. Yep. And what's surprising is the red balloon was actually inside a clear balloon. So we popped the inside one without ever popping the outside one. That is amazing. So many great things here at Science World. For more details on all the activities and, of course, the fantastic performances, you can go to scienceworld.ca. But lots to do during the winter break, Riaz. Yeah, we featured some great performances, some science activities, and also great gift ideas here at Science World, Brian. For sure. Uh, the scientist in your life, a lot of kids are really interested in electronics, putting together and wiring things, but it can be a little finicky and trying to get into soldering and that sort of thing. These kits are great. They're called snap circuits. Uh, you can put together different circuits to try out. They just snap together. Uh, here we've got a little switch, a little fan going on. And with each kit, you get about 100 different projects. You can build burglar alarms and uh, lights, fans, all kinds of different things to I try. I love it. So many great ideas. Thanks very much, Brian. We'll yeah. connect with you in a sec. But Jackie, you also have some great ideas as oh, well. No, I'll go here because I've got to do the microphone. <laughs> there we go. I realized <laughs> after we did the rehearsal that I had to be beside you. <laughs> we have some great ideas for Kiva. And Kiva's been here for two years now. Our gallery is always full. So for the scientist that wants to learn about science, technology, engineering, we have the Kiva planks. We also have a little gift bag. So when those parents need a little bit of time to just kind of chill, they can still be engaged with their kids while they go through and build. What a great way to go to a restaurant, have fun, and build. You don't have to worry about the crayons. You're going to be building structures. That is a great idea, and you get to learn something as well. Absolutely. And each set comes with cards so the kids can go through and look at what they can build. But the solution is here for them, instructions and all those great things for them to do. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jackie. Okay, here's what we've been this is teasing up. Time. Yes, okay. Now, about a year ago, I believe it was June of 2013, Riaz pulled one of these yes. for us. So we want you to give this a okay. try. It's the classic remove the tablecloth, get minimum friction, maximum inertia, try to take this out without disturbing. And the trick, give me the trick here. Trick is going to be fast. Okay. You want to go fast, snap down. I will hold okay, there for you. Let's see what happens here. And, and these are not glued together. They are not. As we have now proved. That didn't work so well. <laughs> we got to go back to the host here, but right now, what are we going to see? Uh, we're going to see how structural this next structure is. Can it resist a hurricane in the form of a leaf blower? <laughs> Science. Science is fun. Come to Science World. More sure. details, go to scienceworld.ca.